Hi, it's Suzanne from the Shops to Marketing team again. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to search for products in the virtual warehouse, connect with merchants whose products you want to sell, and then add those products to your, your own personal inventory within Shopster. So let's start by clicking on the inventory button. Click on the warehouse link. And now you are in the Shopster virtual warehouse. And if you have watched any of our other videos, you know that I have built a store that sells sporting goods. So continuing on with that example, I'm going to search for baseball helmets. Okay, and now what I want to do is look for a product I want to sell and learn a bit more about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm thinking that the Atlanta Braves mini batting helmet looks like a good choice for me. And so I'm going to click on the view product to learn a bit more about this. When you click on the view product button, it pulls up the view product screen. And in this screen, you can learn everything you need to know about your Atlanta Braves mini batting helmet or any other product you happen to be looking to sell. Quickly running through the various tabs at the top, this is the Add to Manage Inventory tab, and we will be clicking on this button a little later on. I just want to show you a few things first. Next tab is the Buy Now tab. So if you want to purchase this product directly from the network, uh, maybe you want to buy it for yourself, this is where you do that. Product details, product description, Supplier tab, this is probably one of the most important tabs on, on this uh, screen. And the reason for that is that's going to tell you about the supplier. And it's going to tell you um, supplier name for starters, but the supplier statistics as well. Fulfillment out of all of these is probably the most important because that's telling you how well a supplier is delivering on the orders you're placing with them. Last but not least, here is the eBay button. Now, since we are not currently connected th to this supplier, uh, you're not seeing everything on this tab, which is perfectly fine. I will come back to it. But uh, our next step here is to connect with the merchant. Click into the supplier tab and click on Sports Memorabilia 1, which is the supplier name. So now I'm in the supplier profile page. And before you ever think of connecting to a merchant, what you want to do is learn a bit more about them. So. What types of payments do they accept? How active are they in our system? Where are they from? And any additional details that you might find useful. Also on this page, you can view all the products they're supplying to the Shopster Virtual Warehouse. You can send them a message and you can add them to your network. So I'm gonna add them to my network. Done and dusted. One thing to note there is you'll notice that Sports Memorabilia automatically accepted me to their network. Some suppliers choose not to do that and they want to take the time, learn a bit more about you, maybe message you back and forth a bit before they choose to connect to you. And it just depends on what they want to do, whether or not you might have to wait a couple days to, uh, to receive an acceptance from a merchant or whether or not you'll be auto accepted. Both are great ways of doing business. So going back into my inventory and the warehouse link, I am going to find my baseball helmet again. And now that I know that I have connected with a good supplier, I'm going to add my Atlanta Braves mini batting helmet to my own managed inventory within the Shopster system. Do this by clicking on the Add to Manage Inventory button. And once you have added a product to your inventory, it will turn blue so you can tell which products you have added and which ones you haven't yet added. So just to really firm this up in your mind, I'm going to look for football helmets this time around. And... Barry Sanders signed mini helmet Oklahoma looks kind of interesting to me. Let's check out the product details, product description, and my supplier details. Okay, sports memorabilia and car parts. 
haven't yet connected to them. But let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So I am going to add these people to my network. And now I'm going to go back into the virtual warehouse and add the product. Okay, let's view this product one last time. And before I add this to my managed inventory, the one last tab that I did skip over last time was this eBay tab. And now that we've connected to the merchant, you can see we have got heck of a lot more information under the, this tab than we did the first time around. So going back to the Add tab, I'm going to click on the Add to Manage Inventory button. There we go. We now have a football helmet in our managed inventory. So what is this managed inventory, you ask? We've now added a couple products to it, but uh, you haven't yet seen it. So to go to managed inventory, you can either click on this link here after you've added a product, or you can go under inventory, and there's the manage link. And that's where we're going to go next. So managed inventory page. This is your page to see all the products you have in your personal inventory, uh, how much stock they have, the various prices they are, and this is also a great place if you are going to list these products on eBay. This E button is your best friend. So what we're going to do next is we are going to go and we are going to price our products. And now we're on the edit product page. And within this page, you can do lots of things. Your product description, image and category. This is pretty important because in my store, I created three categories. I created a football category, a baseball category, and a basketball category. This is not a football helmet. So I'm going to click on baseball make sure my product's put in the baseball category, pricing and inventory. And for my pricing and inventory, I am going to add a 100% markup to my uh, baseball helmet. Click on the use retail value, and I am now selling this product for $16.96. And once you're done uh, pricing your product, we're going to click on the save button. Back to the managed inventory screen we go. And you'll notice that my Atlanta Braves mini batting helmet, while it has the network price of $848, we are now selling it for $1696. Next, let's do the same thing to Barry Sanders' signed mini helmet. I'm going to click on the image and category, confirm that in my store it's in the football category. It is. Set my price. So let's see, my network price is $159. Let's say I want to add only a 50% markup to this one. So I'm going to use retail value and I am going to save my product. Back to managed inventory one last time. Very last thing I want to show you is if you are a, uh, a store seller, you can click on the view my store tab. So now we're back in our store and this time if I click on my football category, Look at that, there's my Barry Sanders helmet. If I click on the baseball category, there's my Atlanta Braves mini batting helmet. Let's say I click into it just for a second here. There's my product description. That's about all for today, folks. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you later.